Hello, this is a recording of one of the 55 Concepts by Michael Cavallero, author of the 55 Concepts, A Guide to Conscious Living. These concepts, when used, are powerful tools to change your life and clear what stands in the way of having the life you want. For more information on the book and classes, go to www.55concepts.com. Anything that bothers you is your issue. You either do it now have done it, think about it, or believe it. You tend to blame negative experiences on others or their actions. The truth is that it has nothing to do with them. All discomfort stems from your beliefs and your issues or programming. Nothing can bother you that is not yours. For example, you would not feel hurt if someone were to tease you for having long curly hair, if your hair is short and straight, or if you had no hair. If it's not yours, you are like Teflon and it will slide off without notice or effect. It will not interfere with your life or have any negative aspects, charges, or effects whatsoever. If it is yours and it is something inside of you that you need to learn, then it will become sticky and you will feel it. It will stick to you quite easily and sometimes very subtly. You will be affected with some opinion or judgment about what is occurring. You may perceive it as right or wrong, good or bad. You may approach it with disdain. You may approach it with blame. Many different approaches may take place. Whether you act on it or just think about it, remember, it's all the same. It's energy. It doesn't matter if you behave on the outside and you think it inside it still creates the same energy field or feeling within you. In fact, sometimes without action is even worse. You may have noticed in the past that sometimes you held on to things and they seem to build up and build up pressure inside till you finally explode. This is a good example of how not acting on something is just as powerful as something that is acted upon. The only difference is no one notices it except you. And by the time you explode onto someone else, no one really understands why you're exploding because it's so out of proportion. Oftentimes, people will think that they have not behaved badly or reacted and it hasn't bothered them. We will again repeat what we have just said, that thinking about it is bothering you. It is affecting you on some level. If it is truly not yours and truly not bothering you whatsoever, you will never give it a thought. You will never even notice that it happened. You might even be bewildered that it occurred, was said, or even done. Another example to this is we once encountered a client that assured us that the issue that we were referring to was not theirs. The issue had to do with being vindictive, which is all about paybacks. We intuitively kept picking up that this person was very vindictive and externally they appeared to be a very nice person, pleasant, very calm and collected and reserved. So as we spoke to them, they said, I am the nicest person and I would never do anything to harm anyone. I would never say anything bad about anyone either. We continued to ask and refer to this throughout the session and finally at the end of the session a light bulb went off for us and we asked, do you ever think about these behaviors? And they said, oh, I always think about it. I quite often think about it. And then it dawned on them that they were vindictive, but they were looking at their actions and seeing themselves as not acting on them, therefore believing they didn't have it. How many times have you done this? You haven't acted on something, so no one has noticed it, not even you. And you don't even notice your self-talk and one day you realize how much you're thinking about that particular subject. One more thing to add to this example is that this self-denial of noticing these thoughts are actually energetically a form of lying. Now not in the way lying was taught to most growing up that it was bad and evil and wrong, but in the sense that lying is simply an untruth. And they were speaking to themselves untruthfully and thereby vibrating at the energy frequency 
of lying, which in turn would magnetize them to attract, and here goes the law of attraction, to attract toward them other people who spoke untruths. Whether they spoke untruths to themselves or to others, they would be attracting people who would tell lies or untruths. Now, a good example for this is that telling untruths in this way, if you have had children or do have children, you should understand that energetically, intuitively, your child is understanding that it is okay or being given permission to tell untruths to others and themselves. Quite often, parents are surprised that their children lie or lie at all because they don't ever speak lies. But they think and feel the untruths or lies to themselves. And this energy is passed on to the children. So please, if you have children, be careful or be aware, not in a fearful way, but be aware that your untruths to yourself teach your children to be untruthful to themselves and others. Thank you for listening to this recording of one of the 55 concepts by author Michael Cavallaro. While listening to the recording is useful, putting the concepts into daily practice will change your life. For this purpose, you will find the 55 concepts book and cards invaluable. For these products and others, as well as information on individual sessions, workshops, and a free newsletter, go to www.55concepts.com.